She got Shufu speaking at the 31st annual Watsara Festival at Sangwali. Also wants to see services such as upgrading of Sangwali Health Center to a district hospital, a police station to accommodate more inmates, as well as the construction of a civil registration office. The MIA chief also observed that despite the availability of rural electrification and access to clean drinking water, the majority of the rural areas in his jurisdiction are still without these basic necessities. Therefore, I appeal to those institutions to have synergy with our conservancies so that all our people should have access to clean, portable water and electricity. This will greatly improve their lives and livelihoods to enable them to establish some businesses and live in a healthier environment. While expressing dismay over the lack of green scheme in his area, the Maya chief called on government to implement the resolution of the 2018 land conference to address human wildlife conflicts. Let us transform these stories of agriculture into reality. People don't eat stories, they eat food. Our areas here in the, in the Zambezi region at large has fertile land and sufficient water, as well as normal rain. This region can produce anything that grows from the ground. Therefore, we want facilities, machinery, expertise to be brought here without delays. Speaking at the occasion, Deputy Prime Minister Netumbo Nandi Ndaitwa emphasized the importance to preserve cultural heritage as it enables citizens to maintain social cohesion and stability. Her message was delivered on her behalf by the Deputy Minister of Education, Arts and Culture, Faustina Kalei. Today, the Mayei community is at the center of the biodiversity conservation. Living within two national parks, namely Mudumo in the north and Kasarupara in the south, and host to three conservancies, namely Balerwa, Muparu, and Zoti. This community is doing a commendable job in preserving our biodiversity. Nandin Daitwa noted that the primary pillars of the economy are agriculture, fisheries, mining, and tourism. The Zambezi region, she says, possesses significant potential in three of these sectors except for mining, encouraging residents in the Zambezi to actively engage in the rice production to enhance food security in the region. I am of the belief that if our communities closer to the water can also branch into rice production, that can be produced in flat areas. Nandi Ndaitwa reiterated that government will continue to assist vulnerable members of society through social grants, warning those misusing such grants, especially those receiving it on behalf of children, to refrain from such practices. Silly Lombiana, NBC News, Sangwali.